Welcome back, everybody. All right, let's always start with our little mountain pose and breathe in. And what we're going to do is definitely we're going to combine mindfulness and an athletic skill. So even while we're doing our mountain pose, we're moving through this motion and our mind is focusing on how it feels to do that motion. Okay, so as you breathe in and your hands go up, allow your mind, your awareness to observe what's going on and to feel what's going on in your body. That's going to be real important. So breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Okay, so if you haven't done so already, go get a ball. It could be a basketball, it could be a soccer ball. We're just going to practice a few of the mindful basketball skills. So before we get into dribbling, tell me what I'm doing right now. Pretend like I am some kind of an athlete and tell me what they are doing. Got it? Well, what did it look like I was doing? Well, if you watch basketball, most people who take a foul shot will get to the foul line, get ready, they might bounce the ball once or twice or three times, and then what most of them will do is take a nice deep breath. <clears throat> In yoga, they call that a cleansing breath. So they get up there, and what that does is it allows them to mindfully be aware of what they're doing to get that little stress out of their brains that anxiety because they just probably ran up and down the court quite a bit so their heart rate is going pretty high so by just going and doing that deep breath like that it starts to calm them down and when you're calmer you can perform your athletic skills a little bit better Okay, next time you watch a basketball game, I'd be surprised if 80% of the people who shot a foul shot did that. Now, when they're playing in a game, of course, they can't do that. Then they have to do some other mindful skills. But while they're slowing down and taking that foul shot, they did a cleansing breath. Okay, all right, so you got your basketball. You're not going to do this inside. You're going to go outside to practice. All right, so just listen to me for a second, then you're gonna go outside and I'm gonna give you some, um, some drills to do. So we're just gonna practice bouncing the ball, dribbling the ball. I don't want you to dribble with two hands. That's illegal in basketball. So we're gonna practice with one hand, okay? And you can start with your dominant hand, the stronger hand, you're gonna bend down, and you're gonna let that ball come up and feel the ball as it comes up into your palm. And then you can see that I'm pushing down like that. I'm not slapping at the ball, I'm pushing. So when the ball comes up, I'm trying to feel the ball in my hand as it comes up and then I push down. Got it? With either hand, it's good to practice both hands. Because in a game, you're gonna need both skills. Okay, so you're going to go outside, you're going to practice one minute with your stronger hand. Then you're going to practice one minute with your weaker hand. Then you're going to practice one minute like that. Okay, excellent. Okay, so stop the tape outside, not inside, and see if you can do that. Got it? Okay, so I'm going to continue with the next thing that I want you to do. As you come back, what I'd like you to do, and you're going to do this outside too, this is a little bit weird, we're going to practice shooting, and one of the things with shooting is to get the ball to spin kind of backwards and to go straight. So I find a good way to do that is to do this. It's pretty weird and it's kind of hard to do. On the ground, like this. Okay, 
and see if you can have the ball go straight over your head like that. Got it? And you will see it is not that easy to do. Okay, so give that a try. And that'll be all we have to, for today. And I will see you next time.